Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you my signature move and I call it that because I keep doing the same moves over and over again and it just happens naturally especially if I just freestyle on the pole and I thought I'm going to share with you how I actually do it because I do it on spinning pole. You can definitely do that kind of um, move on the static pole but I just I'm a spinning pole girl so that's why we're going to do this little signature move on a spinning pole today. You don't really need to wear knee pads but I will because I don't want to ruin my nice paradise leather pants so I just want to be on the safe side. Don't forget to warm up and then we go straight into the tutorial. I filmed this video from behind so it's exactly like you are in a pole class with me. I'm in front of the class, you're behind me and you just mirror what I do. So when I say my left hand or left leg then it is also your left leg. So we stand next to the pole, inside hand is on the pole. We take one step with our inside leg which is the left leg. So step towards the pole, other hand comes on the pole and now we do the good old pole dip like this come around, step with your right leg. So I was in the air for a moment here and you try to make that as long as possible. For now it's okay if you're not in the air for long or even at all. Don't worry about it for now. So step, pole dip. Now the right foot is on the ground. The other leg is extended. So now we lift ourselves off the pole. So lift, the leg comes behind the right leg. Lift, and now we land on our left leg again. Maybe it's a little bit confusing, but it's not that hard. It's left, right, left. So we start with the left leg, which is the inside leg. Left, pole dip, right foot on the ground, and now the leg behind and step again with your left leg. So left, right, left. If I don't lift myself off the ground, it looks like this. Okay, let's do that again together. And step, pole, dip, lift, and you land on your left leg. This is all about momentum. So you will feel over time when you get the hang of it that there's only one way you can go because the pole spins and you go with the movement of the pole. So it's inside, outside, inside. Do it with me together. Pole dip. Make sure that you keep this leg straight when it comes around. Straight, straight, step. Left leg, left leg behind the other leg. Lift and step with your left leg. From here, what we do is we do a twist or a small pirouette. So we turn towards the pole, not away, but towards the pole, reach up higher, twist, twist, twist until the pole is in your back or is behind your back. <laughs> okay, let's do that again. Because I know it might be a bit confusing, but stay with me and do it step by step. I know you will get it. Okay, so step, pole, dip, lift and left leg on the ground and hand comes up. Keep going, twist, twist, twist until the pole is behind your back. From here, let yourself slide down, which looks like this. From the start again, step, pole, dip, lift, left leg, Keep going, keep going, keep going. Straighten the outside leg, bend the inside leg and slowly slide down the pole like this. Okay, and if you do that with more momentum, you will see that it's all one flow. I'll show you what it looks like a little bit faster. All right, so far so good. Do it with me together and then we add the rest of the choreo. All right, so left, pole dip, right step, lift, left step, keep going. Pole is in your back now 
and slide down. Now your left leg should be bent and your right leg should be extended. And the extended leg comes around, just like this. All right, do that again. So we are here. And at some point you have to change this grip because otherwise you can't keep going. What I do is I let go and grab the pole in a normal handshake grip. So I come around, grab the pole again, keep it going and then stand up. Depending on your speed, the way you move around a pole can be quite quickly. It's like even easier the faster you are um, but of course you need to make sure that you don't lose, lose grip with the pole especially with the twisted grip that we have now it's important that you don't lose the touch with the pole because otherwise you're like you're gonna fall or stumble so it's like half a second maybe the leg is still going comes around grab the pole again and my other leg follows the movement and I stand up. Oh, I'm slowly warming up. Okay, so I'll show you what it looks like from this angle. And to be honest, every time I end up in a different spot because sometimes I have more momentum, sometimes less, and it really depends. Um, the more you practice this, you will see that you can improve the speed, which will make the whole movement a little bit easier. If it feels awkward for you still, don't worry. You will definitely get it. I know it can be confusing sometimes when you do pirouettes and then leg changes and then keep going and backwards and, you know, I understand your pain, but I'm sure if you keep going, you will get the hang of it. All right, let's do it together, step by step, all the way through. So, inside leg and step, pole, dip, right step, lift, left step, keep going, keep going, and slide down. Left leg bend, right leg straight, and turn, 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 change grip, step, keep the momentum going, and stand up. Okay, let's do it a little bit faster. Five, six, seven, eight. Left step, pole dip, right step, lift, left step, turn backwards, slide down and stand up. All right, I have no idea if that was too fast, too easy. Did I repeat myself too often? Were my instructions clear? I really don't know because I filmed this video and no one's here with me in this room. So I will get feedback from you guys. So feel free to leave a comment down below. And now with music. Five, six, seven, eight. Well done. I recently uploaded a reel with this part to Slipknot because I love metal and so I just felt this connection to the song. So, but feel free you know, to dance to whatever music you like, it doesn't matter if others like it or not, you have to like it, you have to be in the flow and you should just dance to your favorite music, whatever it may be. I feel like my fitness is not that great because I'm really out of breath, but pole dance is hard even if that looks very smooth and easy you still got to work your muscles and um, yeah I hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for dancing with me today I really really enjoyed it I love you so much I see you in the next video mm -hmm.